So one of the pitfalls of, of social media is that uh, there's always stuff happening all the time. And so you can easily fall into the trap of really always being on social media and always monitoring it. So the best ways that I do, that I kind of work to make sure that I'm not always on social media is that simply just don't always keep the windows open, shut them down. Um, check your accounts that you are monitoring and then close them. The other thing that I do is I set specific times during the day and during the week when I will go to the social media accounts, monitor them, post on them, and then kind of make any in short-term interactions if something's kind of happened during the day or if someone's tweeted at me or if someone's posted a comment on Facebook. Um, once a week, I have an hour set aside. It's a meeting that I set with myself and it's on my calendar so that people can not kind of you know, take that time. And that's when I go in and plan social media for the next week. I do it every Friday at 10 a.m. And it's, this is my one hour of the week where I'm gonna sit down and kind of plan social media for the following week. I'll look back on what happened in the week that's passed to kind of see you know, what are the interactions. And then also from a day-to-day -day perspective, it's normally the, one of the first things I do when I come in in the morning. Instead of checking my email, because it's really easy to get bogged down in all the emails and the back and forths, is I'll go look at what's happened on Facebook, look at what's happened on Twitter, and seeing the postings that we made and what, you know, has there been any action. And then probably like around noon or just afternoon, I'll check everything just once again, quickly pull up Twitter, quickly pull up Facebook and take a look to see are there anything that is worth, you know, commenting upon or replying to. So after I do that, close it and just kind of leave it at that because uh, it's really easy to kind of go down the rabbit hole when it comes down to social media and stuff like that. The other thing is, is that you know, the hour that I set aside for myself, it's more than just for doing uh, work and work alone. I also, once a week, at the end of the, you know, from four o'clock to five o'clock on Wednesdays, I set aside an hour to kind of do more personal social media stuff. Not personal in the sense of, you know, posting pictures and seeing what my friends are up to, but more seeing what other professionals in my industry are doing. So I check out what the other people who are doing marketing and higher education are doing other people who are doing, you know, fundraising and development and engagement in higher ed. And at the same time, I also see what people in marketing are doing in general. So taking that time, and again, setting aside that time so that you say, all right, and especially it helps when it's at the end of the day because you don't want to spend, you know, two or three hours on it because then, you know, you don't get to go home. So, you know, setting aside specific amounts of time and then stepping back from the kind of social media world is really important, I think, at least for me, to making sure that I don't uh, spend too much time on it. So one of the things that uh, can happen a lot of the times is, is monitoring social media on my mobile device. I have an Android phone so I can see what's happening on my Twitter accounts and my Facebook accounts, professionally and personally. So uh, one of the things that can easily happen is you're always checking your email, you're always checking out of the Twitter accounts. And uh, I try not to. Actually, for my mobile accounts, the only times when I really use them professionally is uh, when I'm at an event actually working. So I normally try to step away from social media and work social media at least when I'm not you know, in the office or else uh, you can keep doing it all the time. Now during special events and during special times, absolutely. I mean during homecoming, during alumni weekend, during times when I'm basically working all weekend or all week, then I'll always be on my social media accounts. But, you know, on the regular day, like today, five o'clock comes, it's the weekend, I'm not gonna spend time sitting, checking the alumni relations Twitter feed. Now, probably Sunday night or Saturday morning when I'm checking through my personal email, I'll take a look, you know, take five minutes, check out what's happening on Twitter. If there's nothing upon which to comment, no problem, I won't touch it because I've already scheduled the tweets and the Facebook posts for Saturday and Sunday. Um, but yeah, I, I really try to set boundaries when it comes down to always being on or else it can really, uh, it can really take over not just your work life, but your time away from work. And, and setting those boundaries I think is pretty important. That's why I do my scheduling earlier in the week so that I don't have to wake up on a Saturday to be commenting on you know, the football game that's coming up or people tailgating. 
But at the same time, if I, you know, wake up Saturday morning and I get a great picture that someone tweeted about, you know, hey, I'm at the tailgate and I saw UD, then I'll retweet that. And that takes no time at all. 